When last we left our heroes, they were in the town of Fandolin, getting ready to continue on the Lost Mine of Fandelver module. Oh wait, no they didn't because I sent them somewhere else! Seriously, this is the actual map with all my notes and everything in it that makes it awesome. Ever since I picked up Tales from the Yawning Portal. I've been looking to try to get the party to the Sunless Citadel, which, as I read through the module, happens to have something related to dragons in it. So I'm sending them in there for the awesomeness they're in. But I had them sitting in Fendolin. They had just arrived at the inn and had just dropped off the dwarves. So how do I get them out? In the morning, you wake to find that a messenger has come. Hetfield von Ulrich, we you are requested by your old master, Hetfield von Hammett, you kind of sense the theme, to go on a quest for him. That's what we did. My name is Patrick, and this is the Campaign Diary. received a message from his old master which they kind of all take the name Hetfield in honor of St. Hetfield the god of loot <laughs> the metal loot so yeah now I haven't gone into detail what's going on with Hetfield von Hammett and there's more backstory there and it's going to bring us back to our main plot but we'll deal with that when they get there meanwhile Hetfield von Hammett has requested Hetfield von Ulrich our favorite bard in the Hawaii world, to go to the town of Oakhurst, which happens to be the setting for the Sunless Citadel. Yay. He's requested that he go and find out what happened to a fellow bard named Hetfield von Burton. He knows that von Burton was looking into something at a sunken temple there that related to dragons. Dragons. Of course, this meant ditching the whole gang in Fandolin, which was fine by me because I kind of grabbed on that to take them there, but then I looked at it as like, eh, I don't want to do this. So let's change everything. So off north they went a good 10 day journey. On the way they passed through the village of Merlis um, and stayed at the North Star Inn, which seems to be a chain of inns that are being opened up. And then they came to the town of Ulmer after four days of travel. There they found a large group of the citizens looking like they're getting ready to go and stab something because pitchforks and torches and all the good stuff. It's revealed that several people were kidnapped from the village by goblins. When they see heroes of means, they immediately request some help and ask for it and offer a small reward. The villagers have had already hatched a plan and they just need the heroes to help. The party is to assault this area marked Area 1. On the map here, the party has to go to Area 1, sneak to the, hit the mostly hidden door, and wait for any reinforcements to pour out to reinforce Area 2, which is a goblin watch station, which the villagers are going to assault with lots of pitchforks and the usual accoutrements of peasants. The party gets there successfully. The peasants come pounding out, up the hill yelling, an alarm bell is triggered. The doors burst open and two goblins come out quickly swinging and our heroes fight them. Then two more goblins come out. Our heroes are still fighting although they manage to drop one of them. Then two more goblins come out for a total of six goblins total although there's five. A little thunder wave later and there's one. The last goblin falls rather quickly. Leaving the party a chance to go in and inspect the ruins. They found a stairway and made their way down quietly. Finding three orcs, not goblins, but orcs, lying there and getting up because they'd heard this loud explosion like um, a thunder wave. Alina, the wizard, finally came out of her shell and started firing some magic missile action. The orcs were fairly quickly dealt with, but the party was continuing to take a little damage here and there. They proceeded west to a corridor where Hetfield discovered that it was rigged to drop on their heads. That was fun. They didn't get to dropped on their heads. Instead, 
Hetfield, while failing to disarm the trap or wedge something in to stop it, decided he would try to sneak around, move around the trap. He moonwalked. He moonwalked around the trap. It was probably the most awesome moment of this adventure. Watching a bard literally moonwalking and because Lars has a tendency to play music when he has his bard do something, he started cranking Billie Jean. Alina was able to follow in his footsteps and not die. They came upon another area where there were stairs going off and curving to another area and some stairs that would take them up. They rightly were able to hear enough that they went up to another area where they went through a couple corridors and could hear goblins. When they, upon hearing these goblins, they burst through the door and fired off some webbing, holding the goblins in place, except for the boss, who they burn and let free. A short battle later, the boss was dead and the other goblins tried to run. Our heroes couldn't hit them, but they ran through a door that would take them out and escape, except that I put a bunch of villagers there and the village pitchforked the shit out of the goblins and they died. So, luckily, they found almost all the hostages in an adjacent room, except for one girl who was missing. It was then that, er that from the area that they didn't explore earlier, an orog, which is basically a bigger and meaner version of an orc, decided to come and investigate why there was so much action going on. He came up behind them. A pitched and futile battle ensued where both of the heroes got dropped. So all my heroes are down. Zero hit points. No chance for bringing them back. Luckily, they made all their death saves and out of mercy, I brought in a cleric who healed them up. This ends where we were for the day because they had literally burned through all their spells and were beaten to hell. So they began healing up and decided to have a long rest and not tackle the other half of the dungeon that I had set up for them. They also kind of missed out on some loot that was in those areas that they didn't go. This is where they went. They'd started. In air, they'd come down the stairs from Area 1, went through Area 8, the trapped corridor of Area 7, and Area 6. The area they didn't explore was Areas 9 and 10. That's where the Orog was, and that area was quickly looted by the peasants while the party slept and rested. Instead, they'd gone up to Area 5, Fought the goblins in Area 3 and found the prisoners in Area 4 before getting their asses handed to them. Now, as you can see, there's parts blanked out. Areas 11 through 17 I'm not showing because they have not gone there. And that's where things get even more interesting because they have to find one more prisoner. Now, from this, I learned something. If the party does not have a meat shield, they can get torn apart quickly. Because Hetfield is a bard of the College of Lore, which is not a frontline fighter. The College of Valor is the one that gets the extra attacks and the more sword fighting skills. And Alina is a wizard. Although she's going from the War College from Xanathar's Guide to Everything, the problem is a War Mage is still a wizard first. Neither of them are good in getting in and fighting meaty, fighting meaty foes. And the Orog was a little much. Now I've got even meatier and nastier foes waiting for them. So they're going to find a new character. I can tell you because I've mentioned it to Lars that this is going to be a barbar human barbarian who will be joining them in their fight. I'm not going to tell you much more about her because that backstory gets revealed next time when we continue in this dungeon. As for the map I've got here, this map came from a site called Dyson's Dodecahedron. I will put the links down below because that's the whole point. It's got a lot of really cool maps. I'm going to use this one for this adventure, and I think I've used it before. I got a completely different map for an adventure I'm running for a one-shot for another group. Now, I haven't decided whether I'm going to share that one shot, but I'm probably going to put it in the world, so I may have that for you. But give his, some of his maps a check out and see if you find anything you like. Just remember, the whole point of D&D is to find things that work for you and build an entire world. 
So, until next time, game on.